You know, sometimes you see something you know all of your friends will never believe. Well, it's a good thing everyone has a camera on their phone because our next video shows something so strange. Some believe it may be part of a government conspiracy to control the weather or even our minds. June 4th, 2020. Just another day in Detroit, Michigan. Tracy Bell is walking to her car with a friend as she catches a glimpse of something out of the ordinary. What is, what is that? This is some crazy stuff. What's going on? Take a closer look. It appears to be a dark ring-like formation making its way through the clouds. Unusual for sure, but Tracy has her own idea about what she's witnessing. Oh my gosh, the aliens have attacked. That's not all. Another was recorded in the skies over Moscow in 2018. Then again in 2019 over a snowy field in Montana. What are these? Was Tracy Bell right? Oh my gosh, the aliens have attacked. The fact that a person would jump immediately to UFOs isn't that far out in left field. A lot of reports come in of people seeing UFOs enter into clouds and not come out. So are they using it for camouflage? Some speculate these strange rings are created by jets, part of a secret worldwide conspiracy known as chemtrails. Chemtrails or chemical trails is also known as geoengineering or climate engineering. Believers say what we assume to be normal contrails are in fact laced with dangerous metals and chemicals which dissipate into the atmosphere. Heavy metals like aluminum, barium, strontium, these are hitting us in ways that are deleterious to our health and to the environment. But why? The theory goes that governments are doing this for nefarious purposes, like weather modification, even population and mind control. 17% of people surveyed in an international study said they believe governments are involved in some sort of secret atmospheric program. Is that what's going on here? Or maybe these are alien ships masquerading as clouds. We went to our video analyst, Mark D'Antonio, to take a closer look. Our first question, is this a UFO? It really is pretty cool looking. Is it some kind of unidentified object? You know, what is this ring in the sky? But D'Antonio says in his years of research, UFOs come in various shapes, triangles, cigars, orbs, but never rings. I've never seen one in association with a UFO report. This doesn't fit the classic profile when it comes to a UFO. So if we're not looking at a UFO, then could they be chemtrails? Chemtrails are typically described as long, feathery material, but in this case, it doesn't fit the profile for the classic chemtrail spray that we've been hearing about throughout our history. So, are we looking at some sort of weather event? We take that question to atmospheric scientist Dr. Deanna Hentz, who examines the video filmed by Tracy Bell. It's at an altitude that's much lower than all of the cloud that's around it and a perfectly circular thing is not something you frequently see, and especially not so low in the atmosphere. And Hintz finds another glaring clue which rules out a weather anomaly. Another thing was the ring's color. The fact that it was so dark doesn't suggest that it's made of water. This is something that's more akin to smoke or soot, something of that nature. OK. So we've narrowed it down to a smoke ring. But what could possibly cause one so large? D'Antonio has a theory. This object is potentially created by a diesel engine. Diesel engines have a long, tall stack. And when they start up, they typically will expel a lot of black smoke. You know, boom, and off they go. This video proves it. Watch the formation of a smoke ring. As that plume is pushing through all that colder air around it, it's actually going to wrap up the smoke that's already in that circular shape. That combination creates that nice ring. So there you have it. It's likely these rings were created by a factory smokestack or some sort of large engine. 
The good news is that we're not looking at a worldwide government conspiracy or even something from another planet. The bad news, it's just more evidence of how we're polluting ours. Our verdict, smoke rings.